Hey guys, it's Akinia here. Welcome back to today's budget video. So we are budgeting for the second and last paycheck of February today, which is exciting, but also kind of nerve wracking. I can't believe we're almost done with February. We don't actually have that much longer. Um, eight more days and we're done. That's kind of scary. We're two months through the year. Ugh. Anyway, I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm not 100% sure exactly how much money I'm going to get paid this fortnight, but I have an approximation of how much money is going to be taken out. So I'm estimating, but I think we should be okay. Um, so I'm going to go with 1,800. That should be like a little bit higher every fortnight after this, but they take out the most from the first fortnight and then a little bit less each fortnight after that until it stabilizes in like halfway through April or something stupid. But we're just going to go for 1,800. I'm pretty sure it might be just a little bit smaller than that, but I did put a little bit of extra stuff away from this last fortnight in order to make sure that I would have a little bit of cushion just in case it was a little bit less than I was expecting. Um, so 1,800 is what we're going to budget with. Hopefully that is going to be enough. It should be. But I have a, I tend to have a lot more expenses than I should as a single person that lives alone. So, you know, whatever. Um, so, this fortnight is going through from the 22nd, which will be the Tuesday when I get paid. And it is going through until the 8th of March. So, anything that needs to be paid before then is going to have to be paid, which is okay. Um... I took my Apple back down to the just having the storage. Um, I got rid of the music again because I didn't think that I really needed it at the moment until my like salary stabilizes. The rest of it is staying though. Oh wait, I don't need Amazon anymore, do I? No, last fortnight I paid, or well, the fortnight before. Actually, no, we're going to leave it there. I don't know, one fortnight I paid $60 to do the yearly payment for Amazon. So shouldn't have to worry about that. But I do have a feeling that I'm missing something off one of those lists. So we might need to pay attention to the bank statements this month and make sure that I've got everything that I need to have written down. Um, I did change it so that Deft um, is only going to be getting 25. I can't remember if I changed it to 25 or 50. We're going to go with 25 and hope for the best. Um, my home loan is the same. I don't have Suncorp. Um, my electricity was expensive again, which is okay because I was at home for most of that month. Actually, no, I would have been at home for all of it. I think that was January's bill. So I would have been home for like the entirety of the month. So paying $90 for having the air conditioner on all the time and being there present all the time is not too bad. Um, Vodafone 136. Espresso will be 50 and water will be 25. All right now, let's hope that's all of my bills. Okay, 16 plus 2 plus 15 plus 67.40 plus 66, 25, 588, Nazi 1, 136. I need to try and get the my phone and internet plans down a little bit because that seems like a really big chunk of money each month. Okay, so that's $1,081. It's a lot. It's like the big expensive paycheck. I did try and get it down a little bit by moving some money around, but... You know what? Didn't really help, but that's okay. Alright, um, so minus the $1,800. We've got $718. Now, I'm going to try and really cut down on some of my everyday expenses. Um, so, we're going to go $100 on groceries. $25 eating out. And $100 on coffee. Which is also breakfast, so it's not... Not just coffee. Um, so two twenty-five. 
for that little thing. So plus 225. So that gives us $493.60. I'm going to put the 93.60 into my rates payment because that's due at the end of March and we don't have very many paychecks between now and then. And I don't actually have the greatest amount of money ever in there. So I'm thinking that my savings my savings fund, I'm going to use that towards my rates because that does need to be paid off. Um, and then we can build that back up. I'm not 100% sure about that. We'll see how we go. And my goal for this paycheck and all of next month is to try and get these payments down as low as possible. So if I can like almost completely cut out coffee and not spend any money on eating out, then the money that I save from that will go into my rates payments. But we'll, we'll see how we go. We will see. Okay, so we've got $400. That'll be going into this cash stuffing fortnight. So we've got to look at the big important things first. Um, okay, um, let's do, do 50 in the holiday. I want that to be getting up a lot higher than it is. 50 in emergency, that leaves 300 left. So we'll do 20 for savings, 20 for check, 20 for invest, 20 for utilities, one, two, three, four, 20 for subscriptions, five. So that's 100, 200, so we've got 100 left. No, we've got 200 left. I said 400. No, yeah. Okay, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 200 divided by 16 is like $15. All right, well, let's put the priority ones in here first. Um... One, two, three, four, five, one, okay, two, three, four, Five. Okay, now if I do my calculations correctly, which um, is entirely possible that I didn't, that should be 400. So let's try adding them all up. 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Fifty. Alright, so that's two thirty for this. Let me just put that in there for the moment. Alright, and then twenty plus one, two, three, four, five, so twenty. Oh, one, two, three, four, so twenty. Plus twenty plus one, two, three, so fifteen. Plus fifty. Plus twenty plus twenty. Plus five. 170, 170 and 230 is the 400 that we are looking for, so that's good. So this will be 230 for those and 170 for those. Um, and that'll sit us at like zero dollars. But we do have the money going into the rates, which is good. Um, we do have lower amounts in our everyday expenses. And like I said, every fortnight for the next couple of fortnights, I'm going to get a slightly bigger amount of money. Um, it'll be a little bit over 1800 So there'll be a little bit more room to play with. And also, um, this first paycheck of the month has a lot less things in it. So I'm hoping that we can start putting away a little bit of money in the first part of the month for, say, utilities and the phone bill and stuff like that. But we'll see how we go. 
So I should be able to um, stuff $400 this fortnight, depending on if I manage to go and get all of that money out between now and, and whenever I stuff it. I think I'm going to be stuffing it on the weekend because I obviously will only be able to do one cash stuffing video a fortnight, given that I've got so small amount of money at the moment. But it's okay. We will make it work. And any little bit that we're saving is better than nothing at all. Um, and we'll just have a quick look at my overall net worth. So it has gone up a little bit, which is great. Um, my help debt, as I said, it's going to stay the same until July something, July 10th, um, when my money that I've paid for the year gets deposited to the government corporation that's in charge of that. So that's going to stay for the moment. Um, my home loan's gone down by my regular payment. It'll not go down a huge amount between now and the next one because the interest gets put back in, which the fortnightly payment's 588 and the interest is something like 487 So that shouldn't go down a huge amount between now and the next one. Super has gone up. Um, I think that's one paycheck worth and possibly the Australian market doing a little bit better. Um, but the shares that I actually invested in myself are a little bit lower than they have been recently. So, you know, goods and bads. Um, which leaves us with overall negative $256,428. Not great. Could be a lot worse, but not great. And it is better than the last one. I don't know how much better that is, actually. Let's, let's work it out. Because I actually think that's kind of interesting. And I know there's probably going to be some fortnights where it doesn't actually go down, mainly because of like the deviations in the stock market and stuff like that. But if I'm at least attempting to contribute to everything, no. um, yeah, if I at least I'm keeping putting money in here, it will keep going up. All right, so that's actually gone up by. $1,819.77. So 580 of that was from my home loan and the rest of that money was just my super and the stock market that my super is contributing to going up. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any ideas on how I can decrease some of my expenses, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I do struggle quite a bit getting some of the numbers down. And I do think possibly um, the internet and the electricity and stuff could be a little bit less. But I don't know. We're, we're doing our best. And there is money going into the savings each fortnight. So I can't really complain. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.